Hey everybody. We're back. With a black screen. There it is. Remember the good old days of Konami? Silent Hill 2. I think mm, this isn't the only game I own twice on one system. But it's the only game I have a good reason for owning twice on one system. Hmm. Now let's check the check the options. Oh, subtitles. Oh, the option for headphones. 3D, vibration, normal. Here's the brightness, okay. It wants there. Yeah, this game's going to be dark enough as it is. South Hill 2 should have an opening movie that plays. Hey, Santa. First person as well. How you doing, Sina? Want to give everybody a couple of minutes to get in. That's right, and you're here. Good work, Sina. That's good, that's good. So I do own Silent Hill 2 twice on PS2. As I say, it's not the only game that I own twice on one system. I have Ocarina of Time. A couple of times. James That's fair enough. There's the whole opening you? bit. After we got separated in that long hole. The demo reel. Are you confusing me? With I have the original two disc version. Um. <laughs> you were always. So I later bad. picked up the director's cut. Like we're doing the director's cut because it has the "Born from a Dream," "Born from a Wish" oh, scenario. It's one of the two. Uh, like I said, it's not the only game I own twice on one system, but it's probably the only game there's a good reason to own it multiple times on one system. Yeah. The, uh, the, two, the original two-disc version... Oh, there's that music. Yeah, it's good, Santa. Like I say, we're gonna give it a minute for everyone to get in. The original two-disc version has the game and a making of DVD that's pretty interesting. Theme of Laura. Let me check what volume is on. I want to get a good audio level for this for myself. Hopefully that's not too loud that it'll cause echo. I don't wear the headphones on stream anymore. Touch quite for you, let me. How's that? I'm blurry already. Yep. That's better. Lost.
I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Oh, can you believe this was made in 2001? Looking at that. It says 2003 down there, but that's specifically the director's cut version. I'm surprised nobody else is here yet. I would have thought people would want to see Silent Hill 2. I did post in the Discord. Ninja's probably busy with Resident Evil 0 there. Yeah, that's about right. Definitely want to make sure we get the audio levels right, because Silent Hill 2... In general, the first four Silent Hill games, audio-wise, are very well put together. And you want to actually be able to hear them. As I stopped using the headphones for the stream a little while back. I was debating bringing them back out again for this stream because the audio is just that important for Silent Hill 2 for its entire experience. Really good. Let's go again. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? I gotta say, it's really surprising for a you game in 2001 to have a so subtitle careful. option, though. Remember that time in and it's that kind of thing that makes me look on so many games from this generation poorly. Said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? But yeah, the fact that games came out for years after this just without subtitles. Capcom re-released the Devil May Cry games in the HD collection on PS3 and Xbox 360, but they didn't add subtitles. Uh, especially to the first one, I forget if 2 had subtitles, I'm pretty sure 3 did. Uh, but they didn't add subtitles to the first game until the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the HD collection. RE4 has never had subtitles in the actual cutscenes. Like, subtitles are important. Welcome back, Sina. How does it sound now? The audio okay now? Those eyes look crazy. A little bit more. What about now? Don't want my voice competing with the audio to be heard. As, uh, I noticed that was generally a problem yesterday when we were looking at um, the Alondra stream. That's good. That's good. Thank you.
Every now and then I talk about how I think games were generally visually as good as they needed to look uh, in the PS2 generation. And Silent Hill is always an example that I will hold up of games never needed to look better than this. And this was early in the generation. Silent Hill 2 looks fantastic for its time. Silent Hill 3 looks better. But not even by a huge amount, because they're both fantastic-looking games. See, I'm real. It only does. All right, let's get this started. It's been fifth. It's been about fifteen minutes since we started the stream. If people aren't here yet, it's born from a wish. If people aren't here yet, then that's their loss. So, the main reason we're playing the Director's Cut is because the Director's Cut comes with the Born From A Wish sub-scenario. Which, after we've finished the, ga the main game, we might take a look at. It depends how I'm feeling afterwards. It doesn't really add anything. It's nice, but it's unnecessary. So, we're going to have Action on Easy and Riddle on Normal. Because at the end of the day, we're not here for fighting enemies. I forgot how heavy the noise filler is in this. Mary, could you really be in this town? It's an interesting shot, and it begs the question just how important is James in this? I don't have a map for the bathroom. Okay, so this is tank controls. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm pretty sure I had it set to 3D controls. I only just started, give me a second. In my restless dreams. Dreams. There it is. I see that. Did I quote this wrong for the title? Silent Hill. I did. You promised you'd take me there again someday. That's better. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person. Be honest with you, Sina, it's pretty quiet on my end as well. Just the voicing. Mary died of that damn disease three years I've ago. I've stuck it up again a little bit. So then, why am I looking for her? What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? 
waiting for me. Did you have it turned down? Alright, in that case, I'm going to turn the stream back down a little bit. There it is. Let me go into... Can I get into the options? That was weird. Anyway. Uh, it's set to 3D type, but it's tank controls. Volume's good. Let me say it's headphones as well. Let's examine that letter. A restless dreams I see that town, Silent Hill. You probably should take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now in a special place waiting for you. A weird opening. You know what, if I change the control type to 2D, what is that actually going to mean? See, that's 3D. See, as soon as I had the option, I went and got the map. Alright, so let's take a look. We're here on the observation deck. The road into Silent Hill, and our goal is Rosewater Park, on Toluca Lake. Let's go. I mean, I guess we're just going to leave the car. Nothing else worth taking. We're going to leave the car we came in. We're not even going to shut the door. I should tell you everything you need to know about James. And the way it's shut. Nothing worth taking. Guess I'll have to walk. I wonder why the way is shut. Man. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna begin the trek to Silent Hill. The way is shut. This is an interesting thing Silent Hill 2 opens with, and really, it's a very good indicator of its dedication to atmosphere and world building. Lord of the Rings is fantastic. The extended editions were so good. Like, this really makes a point of Silent Hill 2's dedication to its atmosphere. In that the run to Silent, the walk or the run to Silent Hill down this pathway is let me check the map. We're here. This is like five minutes of just running this way. Oh yeah, there are non-extended editions. I call though, like, you can refer to those as the trial editions. Do you enjoy these a lot? Would you like to see more? Not everybody is into sitting down for four hours and watching the movies, which is fair enough. But, you know, if you've got the time and the dedication, then stuff. Stuff. You know what? I'm putting this on to uh, tank controls again. This is bothering me.
Uh, better downpour than homecoming, though. I mean, I'm probably never going to do either, but... Homecoming was garbage. Makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. I probably have a save of this. No, I don't. I wonder if it saves the director's cut version separate. Yeah, Downpour was alright. It was better than Homecoming. And Homecoming was technically flawed as well. Like, Homecoming had so many problems. There, let's go. Welcome to the graveyard. Book of Memories, I've never really given it a proper look because it's multiplayer focused and not of interest to me. Excuse me, I... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I oh, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for a Silent Hill. Is this I still not doing Alan Wake. Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. Yeah, it's on the list. This, of games uh, to do. Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town. Well, that probably set you back a pretty penny. But why? Because I'm I promised to take her back there. Someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone... Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I... I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. Well, they made out of cardboard. Voice acting in this game is interesting, and... The original voice acting is definitely better than the HD Collection's voice acting. Which is funny, because for the HD Collection, they got professional voice actors to do the voice acting, and yet it's worse. Troy Baker replacing Guy C. He is James Sunderland. And he's just worse at it. Which is funny given that Troy Baker is a professional voice actor and Guy C. He isn't. Especially funny given all the bad mouth in that 
Troy Baker and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn did of Guy C. He in the lead up to HD collection. Ah, oh, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, good condition copy or something like that probably would cost you quite a bit. You can like Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, but she did a lot of shit talking in the lead up to HD collection. Yeah, there's a fence. Yo, know, remind me later, Sina. Uh, I'll send you a video on the HD collection. That also has a bunch of uh, clips of interviews with Troy Baker and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Specifically, shit talking guy, see he. And then also going into. You know, that's way less than I would have expected. And then the video is a two part video, uh, goes into all the problems with the sound design of the HD collection. Which is pretty interesting because most of most of the videos or just most of everything you see discussing the problems with the HD collection talks about the visual problems. Frame rate stuttering, the lack the fog that was completely missing in the original version before it was patched. The Comic Sans font on that sign back there that said Silent Hill Ranch. Uh, but this video specifically goes over some of that, and then and then specifically t spends the rest of it talking about the sound design, and how that's completely messed up. Dude, have you seen that sign? Alright, we're in Silent Hill. So Rosewater Park is the the goal. Yeah, thirty pounds seems pretty good. So take a right and then a right again. Yeah, there's the right. Yeah. Well, Silent Hill Downpour also has the modern problem Ooh. of, like, a lot of cutscenes. Spends a lot of time establishing its story. Hmm. I've got Alan Wake and American Nightmare on Xbox. They're backwards compatible. That's what I've on Steam. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. It's one of the many games I have that I haven't played. And at this point, I think I do want to do them on stream. What are we looking at? That health drink? I got a health drink. Yeah, I'll probably get to it at some point. Not anytime soon because of the uh the stuff we've got planned at the minute. I got another health drink. That's what it looks like. Ah, uh, Weetabix.
Yeah, the minute we've got, um... We're doing Digital Devil Saga 2. And once we're done with Silent Hill 2, we're going to be doing... What else are you looking at, James? Once we're done with Silent Hill 2, we're going to be doing Code Vein. Nice, oh, another health drink. I gotta say, the worst part about this movement is the camera. Anime Vampire Souls. Yeah, our buddy Klim. Uh, Klim's really into when he recommended it to me, which is why I bought it. Uh, but I've not played it yet. And I thought, you know, for Halloween... Why not? Why not give it a go? Fits in with the horror theme, or it should. Yeah, this looks fine. I generally do most of my soul stuff alone. I need to give Bloodborne another go, and I'm gonna go at it alone this time. Specifically because I think trying to do it co-op previously was my big problem. I never really and I never ended up learning to play the game for myself. As a result. Just people dragging me through the game. It's not human. It makes sense. I think uh, Code Vein is supposed to be co-op, but I'd have to look into that. It's fine. There's no cops here. Yeah. This thing broken? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Anyway. I just killed the monster. Oh yeah, the radio. Okay, so the goal is still Rosewater Park. But knowing what I know... I remember the opening of this, and we're specifically after a trailer that I think is down here. And it'd be a good idea to go there now, because otherwise we're going to be wandering looking for the key that we need. Once we get into the hotel, everything's going to completely vanish from my mind. I, I really wish the camera would make its mind up on whether it's going to swing around so I can see where I'm going. Yeah, when the HD collection first launched, if you never saw it, there was no fog in the game. Hmm. Which meant that you'd just see the rendering distance. Which, since the game was designed with fog in mind, was not that far away. It ruins a lot of cutscenes. Seriously, you never looked into that. Hmm. 
Dude, look, I'll, I'll send you, like, I'll see if I can find that video I'm t I was talking about afterwards, and I'll send you the link. It's two-parter, and it is worth checking out. There's the reason the HD version was very heavily maligned. Fun fact, the HD collection is backwards compatible on Xbox One. Which is incredibly disappointing. Ah! Didn't get me, I didn't, I don't know why I went, ah. Ooh, apartment gate key. I get not being interested in the, in the HD version because you've got the originals, but like, you never heard of it. Oh, that's fast. Just neighborhood cat. Don't worry. Yeah, the HD the HD collection is backwards compatible on Xbox One, along with Downpour and Homecoming, which is particularly unfortunate because Oof. Oh, I, I'll have to show you that video. It's particularly unfortunate that it's the HD collection because Silent Hill Two was released on Xbox. And while the Xbox version isn't quite as good as the PS2 version, it's still a really solid version. It was it was released on original Xbox. It's like they could have put that on backwards compatibility and they didn't. It's the HD version. Yeah, it right, will be here. Uh, It's, it is really disappointing. It's like, HD version got a patch that fixed a bunch of problems on PS3. Didn't get that patch on Xbox. Okay, let's get all the barriers up on the map. That'll probably be useful to me later. You know, I'm switching back to the other style because my finger is actually... My thumb is starting to get a little sore. There we go. So they're specifically blocked off. It's like with the... Um, they put Zone of the Enders HD collection on backwards compatibility on Xbox One. Which sounds nice. But... The HD collection also had major problems. The Zone of the Enders HD collection also had major problems. And a patch was released to fix the second game only. And again, only on PS3. If you buy the second game alone on PS3, it's not that bad. Now, it's pretty decent. It's, it's entirely playable now on PS3. It's not on Xbox. But you know, that's, back, that's available via backwards compatibility. Only on Xbox. Oh, happy burger. Well, door isn't registering. This camera's going to be a major problem, isn't it? This before or after the street? It is after. Alright.
it's rare, but every now and then, fog, like, super heavy fog, fog like this will roll in. Um, around here. And it's always really interesting when it does. This is specifically the place we're looking for, though. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. Okay. Shoulder is really sore. Okay. Looks like there's something on that door and I just can't examine it. Okay, we're here. Harry Street is crossed off, so we go to Neely's Bar. This place is locked. And judging by that mark on the map, it's going to stay locked. Blocked off. It crossed the street. Left. And get past Happy Burger. And Neely's Bar should be across this road. There we go. There's a map. Copy all of that onto my map. It means the way to the park. Oh, I'm back. We got to the motorhome, it gave us directions to Neely's Bar, we found a map that has information on it saying that this road is blocked and that there's a way through Woodside Apartments so we can get to Rosewater Park. There was a hole here. On now. That's pretty much it. Also talked about how dumb it is for the Silent Hill HD collection to be on uh, backwards com Xbox One backwards compatibility, along with the Zone of the Enders HD collection, both of which got a patch on PS3 to make them more playable, but not on Xbox. It's a good thing we found the apartment key. What are you looking at, James? Handgun bullets. What else are you looking at, James? First aid kit. Nice. The head tracking's been really useful so far. Try to read that. Lock is broken. Which is Silent Hill for this will never open. Okay, so where's the entrance? Awesome. So, by the end of today's session, I'd at least like to be out of the apartment block. I honestly have no idea how long that's going to take. I 
Games can really run. Locked. Garbage shoot that looks like an old furnace. that dumpster. Ah, it's gonna be really dark in here. It's a very, uh... Very violent red. Very vivid red. I don't know. The dark room of doom. Fortunately, James was only looking at a health drink. It's a map. Awesome. This map looks kind of confusing, honestly. Can I change floors? Okay, so we're here. Coming through there. This has to be like an open courtyard sort of thing. Which makes it weird that there's no way into these apartment buildings from this side. There you go. There we go. Second floor. You have to circle around the stairs. Third floor. This says it's an apartment building. Locked. Yeah. That is marked on the map. Going up. That's not locked. So I guess uh, it's too dark to read the map. I guess what we're going to do is check room by room. You know, I got to admit that's a good detail. It's too dark to read the map, but let me go and stand under a light. And you know what? Got to give credit. Standing under a light actually worked. That's locked. So, what we're going to do is check room by room. That's boarded up. That's not, that's not even boarded up, that's plastered up. It's a good detail. And, you know, if there's one thing Silent Hill really excels at, is details. We get back under the light and figure out where we're going. Okay, so that's blocked off. That's locked, which means we should get in there at some point. I don't even know where that could go. 201 seems to be completely plastered over. Plastered over the door. So... Hit 203, then take the side path here. And check these out, and then come back round. And now let's begin the countdown of how long it will take before my plans are completely derailed by Silent Hill. Garbage shoot. Strange trash. Probably have to do something about that. 
Three minutes, I feel, is generous. So this has to be 203. Okay, so we can't go in there, so let's check up this corridor. This will be 206. So seven, four, eight. Nothing unusual about the television except it looks like it was made in the fifties. It's broken. Too dark. There's a puzzle here. Gone now. I need to find that flashlight. Kitchen. Bars in the way. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, blocked, blocked. Block puzzle. That's blocked. So, so circle around upstairs to get down to there, probably. Next door. It's also been plastered over. Ah, finally some light. You want to see a nice detail? You notice anything? Right, the, the mannequin is wearing Mary's clothes. Bad. Anyway. But now we have a flashlight. The mannequin, but these clothes. Alright, we can head back and take a look at the clock puzzle. And also, we can check our map anywhere now, because we have a light to see it with. There's another door on this side. How you doing, Teague? Ah, it's busted. Can't get the door open. That's unusual. Unusual, unusual line. Vacuum fiend. What's this? Is it? Bullets. Newspaper on the ground, nothing interesting written on it.
You know, see, I'm surprised you've never decided to pick up. You haven't decided to pick up the enhanced edition of this yet, and uh, stream that. You know, since they put the enhanced edition, since the fans made the enhanced edition of the PC version. Working out and having a yogurt. Was it at the same time though? That's, you know, that's probably more of a reason to do it, Teak. Yeah, blueberry. And you know, if there's any Silent Hill game to play all the way through, it would be Silent Hill 2. Do 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 do. Yeah. I mean, Silent Hill 3 is also really good, but if you're going to do 3, you should do 1 first. It is very much a sequel to the first game. Okay, so that's all good. 204 was plastered over, and so was 201. There's the clock puzzling 208. Go back and take a look at that now that we have the flashlight. Let's take a look at this clock puzzle. Scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Okay, so I'm guessing the clock is nailed down. Scars of the past. Scars of the past. From the past. Hmm. Let's check the rest of the apartment building. Uh, the third floor, we've not checked the third floor yet. I had something to reach that far with. But where could I find something like that? Where, where am I? Hey, so the third floor is mostly blocked off. Hmm. Lock's broken. Here we go. Oh, it's a gun. 
You know, if this wasn't America, I'd question why there's a gun here. Lock is broken, pockmarked with gunshots. Hmm. America. God damn this camera. Which way was the try and go? This way. Lock is broken. Okay. That's all I needed to know. America. Fuck yeah. There we go. Let me see if I can actually use my stick. Nope. I'm allowed to use my stick. So what have we accomplished? Have we accomplished? It's not saying it's said to a force blocked off, but it's not said to a one. Let's check that again. We got a, no. We had to stick early. We got a flashlight and a gun. Is it saying it's blocked off now? Yes. Something in the trash. Block puzzle. Hmm. Well, I know what I'm going to do anyway. Uh, I am going to have a quick jog to the toilet. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute. We're back. So let's take a look at the map again. Okay. Can't circle around anywhere upstairs because that barrier is in the way. 
Thank you, Santa. Okay, and we just can't get anywhere downstairs. It's locked. It's not jammed. It's not a broken lock and it's not jammed. It's just locked. Anything I can do with this? Some kind of strange trash. Do I have anything I can do with that? I do not. You know what, let's take a look at that map from the bar. So the only relevant information there I already have. I got the apartment key from the question mark, the map from the circle on Neely's bar, and the information on Neely's bar from the circle on the motorhome. And we're in the Woodside apartment building right now to cut through. That's not useful. Okay. I'm a washing machine. Off. Hey, Ninja. How are you doing? He to room two oh two. And that guy's gone. How'd Leech Hunter mode go, Ninja? I think that was in the original, I think it's only the Wesker mode that was added for the HD version. I can believe that. Wait a minute, no, it's 202. What am I doing running up the stairs? Could have been me, but, you know, it probably wasn't. The interesting thing with that body is that it is actually James's character model. You can't get a proper enough look at it, but the character model is James. That was irritating in um, Assignment Ada in RE4. You have to get five samples of the Plagas Parasite and they go into your inventory. Something on the other side of the hole. At least you found it. <gasps> A 
clock key. Do you really want to do that though, Ninja? Like, that becomes the real question. Do you really want to beat the game in under three hours to get the infinite launcher? And are you really going to even use it? Come on, Ninja, you know this channel. You, you've followed us long enough now. You know there are no speedruns on this channel. Unless I'm playing RE2, probably. Maybe RE3. I try to do RE3 a little fast. Well, the question becomes, are you going to play RE0 again after getting the infinite launcher? Or will you be all... Will your interest in RE0 be all used up? Scars from the past. 6.58 and 15 seconds. I forget, is Silent Hill 2 a game I should make notes for? It's fair enough, you want to go through it again, Ninja. But, like, are you going to go through it again after getting the Infinite Launcher? Well, yeah, you can't get CVX on PC. Which is still weird to me. Scars of the past. Well, I just kind of stumbled into that. Yeah, that's fair enough. I didn't even know there was an infinite hunting rifle in RE0. Yeah, I completely stumbled into that solution. That was... That was kind of ridiculous, honestly. Well, the infinite hunting rifle or the infinite rocket launcher? Now remember that Code Veronica is not Code Veronica. The RE Zero is one of the few RE games that doesn't end with a rocket launcher. Hunting rifle. Uh, is that the giant scorpion? Because once you're done with the giant scorpion, you find the shotgun before you find fight the next boss, and the shotgun is just a better version of it. Yeah. Okay, so we should be on the other side of the bars now. Good. So we came out of 209, which means go upstairs. We can grab that key. We could go downstairs, but we have an objective first upstairs. Let's do that. And the fact that so much in RE0 takes up two slots, like the hunting rifle. Use the stick. Don't worry, I'll use it from this side. That'll make doubly sure that I'll be able to pick up that key.
The stupid thing with the hook shot is how often you have to go back and get it. I forgot that happens in this room. I thought that was downstairs. I think the funny thing is that we try to hide in the closet from him, but our flashlight is still on. The weirdest thing about that whole scene is that Pyramid Head just leaves us alone. You don't know what Pyramid Head, Pyramid Head can and can't see. Courtyard key. Pyramid Head is not a real person. He is a figment created by the malevolence that is Silent Hill. Pyramid Head could be fully aware of his surroundings at any time. And I got the fire escape key. Oh, Pyramid Head is technically real. But Pyramid Head doesn't exist in a natural sense. I got handgun bullets. The normal washing machine. The malevolence that is Silent Hill. <laughs> Where did the kid go? There you are. You gotta play it like you. Like the best way to do this is to fight like you're trying to punch Pinkies to death in Doom. Like original Doom. You can you can punch a Pinky to death if you know the distance of their attack animation. Creepy place that creepy kid. Laura isn't so much a creepy kid, though, honestly. Like, really gotta give that to this game for its defiance of usual horror tropes. Cheryl was creepy. Alessa was creepy. Laura's not creepy. Ninja, Ninja was creepy. Well, thankfully, Ninja isn't a kid anymore, so less creepy now. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping now, Signy, you're going to have puns for all of the weapons. The phone doesn't work. Okay. I hope you're ready for a lot of checking the map. Find puns. So an interesting thing here, 
the Xbox version is technically not quite as good as the original PS2 version, but it does have a better lighting solution in that the lighting for the flashlight is smoother. For example, if you pay attention to the way the light moves as we walk down the corridor, it's very clearly lighting specific tiles on the wall as we move, and then moving away from those. The light solution on Xbox is actually smoother. Dream alive. No, 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 you get back here. You know, it's nice to we do so much resident evil on this stream it's nice to do some horror that isn't particularly resident evil style okay so we didn't check down there but this one would lead down to this side of the first floor which is specifically separate so this gives us a direct ending. The, the issue with doing more Silent Hill at this point is to do Silent Hill 3, I should really do Silent Hill 1. And while I respect Silent Hill 1 for a lot of what it does, I don't think it's that enjoyable to play. Mostly just because of its age and the technical limitations of the PlayStation. Oh, that's Forbidden Siren 2. And um, while f while the Siren series is interesting, it is not particularly good, honestly. Okay, where am I now? Specifically on the other side. Yeah, I watched... Um... Oh, it's unlocked now, great. The bad ending is terrible. Uh, I watched Ali, who is a streamer friend. Uh, she did Silent Hill for the first time earlier this year, and she got the bad ending. The bad ending is basically unavoidable on your first time, because you're never going to know the, re the requirements to hit the good ending. Like... You might get bad plus, maybe, if you're incredibly diligent. But you're not, you're gonna end up with a bad ending, you're not gonna get good. I do shard memories at some point. I would actually be kind of interested in doing the PS, not the PSP, the uh, Wii version of Shard Memories, because it's kind of neat. Can juice. Let's take a look at what it is, because we came all the way down there for that, apparently. I'm going to guess that's a puzzle item of some sort. It is expensive on PS2. It's probably kind of pricey on uh, PSP. It might be a little pricey on Wii. Just because it's Silent Hill, but I wouldn't expect it to be that pricey. You can always see about picking up the PSP version, Sino. That way you do keep it all on PlayStation. And the PSP version's fine. It's like, did you get the uh, the PSP version or the PS2 version of Origins? I have PS2 Origins, but if I was going to stream that, I might consider the PSP version. Just for shits and giggles. And also a case of, like, look at the PSP. Look at what the PSP could do. People forget just how good, like, graphically impressive the PSP was when it happened. PS2 
PS2 version of Origins. God damn it. Wait a minute. This isn't going to be the fire escape, is it? You see, that's a fair point to make, Sina, but there's also the thing of PS2 games have been increasing in price lately, and it wouldn't surprise me if Wii games are also on the rise as that generation gets further and further away. Because it's like, hey, remember when I got... Um, and when I got you to order my copies of Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2, and how they were actually really cheap. Especially despite the version of 2 being the collector's edition. It's like both games have jumped up in price now. Same with Persona. Um... That's how I was supposed to figure it out. And minute second. That noise bothered me. Yeah, a lot of PS2 stuff has been on the rise for the last few years, and it wouldn't surprise me if Wii stuff is the same way. That's not a fire escape. I'm going through. I don't have a map of this area. In that case, I'd say fork out a little extra for the PS2 version. 30 or 35 at the minute isn't too bad for a PS2 game. Like I say, they're jumping in price. There's the interesting thing of Haunting Ground has been actually pretty expensive in the US for years now. Put your hand in the toilet, James. The only one you need. That's safe combination. Looks all chunky. Yeah, Haunting Ground um, in America has been super expensive and super rare for years now. And I remember I picked up my copy on PS2 for... Let me make a note of this. I remember I picked up my copy on PS2 really cheap. And I think it's starting to go up uh, in the in the UK now as well. Let me see. Zero four seventeen. 11. It's 
So we're on four. So go right. So we're on four. Press left to go right. Yeah, I just jumped up. I think I paid like seven pounds for my copy of Haunting Ground. Seventeen. And then 14, and then all the way around to 11. That didn't work. I should probably reset this room. Obscure 2 wasn't that cheap to begin with, was it? Try this again. Hopefully, this is reset this time. I'm in the safe, James. It hasn't reset. Okay, so it gets a four. Fifteen and twenty-five. When you guys go, hmm. Maybe it was the first one that was expensive. So try the other way then. Seventeen. 14. I don't know. There it is. It's the opposite way. Is really just a load of handgun bullets? I thought that was going to be a required thing to continue the game. Come here. Get back here. There we go. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking the first obscure then. They are both co-op, though. Really? Just 20 for the first one? Hmm. I guess I was thinking of the second one, then. Lock is broken. This one isn't. This is a stairway. Broken. Locked. That's her in an errand, so I'm going out. Errand. God damn it. I really wish it wouldn't register moving the analog stick as something to just pull me out of that because that's frustrating left the house key with uncle david you know where it lives don't you the key is in the room there the first floor staircase back as soon as i can please watch the place where i'm on first floor staircase you know where the stairs are at least Locked. You'll get it eventually. One day. I mean, I'm gonna guess that you're not gonna, you're not actually gonna make the. Decision to try and pick it up on Xbox just to widen your chances, though. 
The Project Zero Three was on Xbox. Yeah. It'll happen. The question will just be like, how much will it be when it comes across your path? And will you be willing to pay it? Yeah, you have to get it on PS3. PS2. First floor staircase. This is a weird thing to have in a, an apartment building, just a really thin corridor. Yeah, that's really going to be the question, isn't it? Like, the next time it actually comes across your path, will you have changed your mind about that? It's one thing to order it from eBay or Amazon. It's another thing if it's right in front of you. You should ask Bane about his collection sometime. I ask Bane what he paid for his full inbox copy of Illusion of Time. Three bright coins in five holes B. On sit at one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, null, lies furthest from they. The old one beside, the serpent sits not. It is the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Mine, uh, five, one inch round depression, sent to the table. I don't have anything for that. But yeah, Bane, Bane will fork out money for his collection, and it's the kind of thing, every now and then... Every now and then he'll tell me about one of his pickups, and... It's prices that make me glad I don't give a damn about physical collection. Like, it's cool stuff to have, especially in good condition, but I, w I would not pay those prices. This is the room I was just in. Means this way. So is this a puzzle to get a key to open a door? Yeah, being able to just check, right? Some power is holding the door closed from the other side. That's a weird thing. That's a weird way to put it. Not being able to check regularly to see if you can get something for a good price from the place you work does probably make it less convenient to pick stuff up. It's the way you put it, some power is holding the door closed from the other side. Any other game would just say it's locked from the other side. It's a specifically weird way to put it. That desk has to hold the key I'm after. Does Jesus exist in Silent Hill? Is there a reset camera button? Now 
Nice. Probably best we don't talk about Pyramid Head for a while. I want a map for this building because this is bothering me. I feel like Silent Hill 2 doesn't open that well, honestly. Despite how good it actually is, I feel it doesn't open that well. With the wandering around town to begin with, and then into the apartment building. And the apartment building with every room that you can actually get into being the same. And then you make progress, and it's like, cool, the fire escape exit. Jump into another building, and it's the same building. And I feel like that so early is not something a lot of people are going to be into. Can't use that here. Leads from the west side stair hallway to the courtyard, which I can't get to. And it makes a point of how many people do you think quit Silent Hill 2 in this apartment building? Ask how many people quit Silent Hill 2 in the apartment building, not what's the meaning of the universe. <clears throat> so this has to hold the key. Yeah, but it's not the answer to all things. Ask you to. Sort of life, the universe, and everything. You know, I'm surprised it's not Bane who's quoting Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's just locked. Was he a Cleaver man? Was he a Pipe man? Oh, it's too late now, Sonny. You said Cleaver. I don't like that body still there. Because the cleavers were getting dull. And you didn't have the resources to keep sharpening them. Oh, actually, while I think of it, uh, we now have the lurk command. Let me try and fix that actually right now. There 
Okay, I'm gonna disable the lurk command and I'll work it out some other time. We don't have a lurk command anymore. Actually, how did I work it for the other stuff? Just copy that from a different command and then edit this. And then stick it back on and then do the work. There we go. We now have a lurk command for anybody who wants to uh, let us know that they're going to lurk for a bit. Did I come over here too soon? Well, yeah, it works. I just tested it out. Yeah, because you know this channel's all about the sci-fi stuff. This is my robot. But we don't operate within Federation space, Bane. How you doing, Bane? Okay. So I don't have a way to get downstairs, do I? Not properly. Shoot. I saw an article earlier today. Uh, oh, that works here. Okay, we have possible progress. Uh, I saw an article earlier today that was talking, the director of the next Star Trek movie, talking about the challenges of making a Star Trek movie when there's so much Star Trek on TV. And I thought that was kind of dumb. Because, like, isn't there just... Isn't there just two Star Trek shows on TV? Discovery and Picard? And I'm there thinking, like, weren't there, like, at least two of the Next Generation movies? Weren't at least two of the Next Generation movies done while there were also two Star Trek TV shows, Deep Space Nine and Voyager, airing? There it is. I'm pretty sure, um, pretty sure First Contact came out while Deep Space Nine was airing, and I would have thought that they have a ranged attack. That seems alright. See, I was thinking uh, First Contact and Insurrection. Because, like, Insurrection directly references the, um, Cardassian War. Dominion War. You motherfucker.
Hit the fucking thing, James. This is why we put the combat difficulty on easy. Those contacts is a good move. I mean, I'll defend some of Generations. Uh, insurrection was bad. Like, people make out like Star Trek Nemesis is the worst of the next generation movies. I really wouldn't say that, I'd say Insurrection is. Yeah, because they didn't want to. They didn't want to make a thing of people having to have watched the TV show f before that, did they? Okay, I need to find all five coins individually. It's like, oh, you're watching the Next Generation movie, and they didn't want to make it a thing of you had to watch Deep Space Nine to understand it. I didn't realise there was such a long period between First Contact and Insurrection. But well, then I guess Nemesis was like 2003. Yeah. Like the whole thing with this idea of... Because there are only two Star Trek shows airing right now, right? Discovery and Picard. And like this whole idea of, oh, there's so much Star Trek on TV, it's really making it a challenge to make a movie feels really stupid in comparison. Did you finish Deep Space Nine though, Sina? Lower Decks. Yeah, I don't think I know what Lower Decks is. Lower Decks is a cartoon. Yeah, if you watched all the way through, that's fair enough. It's generally the idea Deep Space Nine gets better in its later seasons. But if you watched it all the way through and it still found it boring, that's fair enough. Trek and Morty. Alright, so let's check these rooms out. These rooms have to have what I'm after. Really wish it wouldn't do that. Makes it a pain to deal with. One day, we're not going to be looking through apartment buildings anymore, and that'll be a good day. Nickelodeon's doing a Star Trek cartoon? It's interesting that Kate Mulgrew would be willing to go back to the role. Although, I suppose... Oh, hey, Eddie. when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're I didn't see the dead body yet. Red pyramid thing. Red pyramid thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. 
I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um, you be careful too. <laughs> Yeah, like I would have thought Kate Mulgrew Eddie, are you wouldn't okay? be all that interested in returning yeah, to Star Trek. I but I guess like enough time makes everybody a lot more willing to go back to it. I mean, isn't the thing that like. When Star Trek, the, when the original series was over, a lot of the cast had no real interest in going back to it, and then enough time passed when they started the movies, or oh, they gave the cast enough money. Like the whole Leonard Nimoy, I am not Spock thing, eventually leading into I am Spock. <laughs> that idea. You don't know those are the names of uh, two, two of Nemo's autobiographies. I don't know if he did a third. Oh, there is a body. Okay, that leads to outside, which could be the eventual progress I need. So what's going to stop me from going out there? Just can't get out there. Hell. Ah, oh, yeah, I've heard about Phase 2. Was that intended as a reboot, or was that supposed to be a sequel series? I always heard it was supposed to be like a sequel series. Sequel continuation, yeah. Yeah, then they just ended up doing the movies. Movies were probably a better idea. And of course, Star Trek. Everybody else involved in Star Trek generally ended up of the opinion that they should keep Gene Roddenberry away from the writer's desk. Which, you know, judging by how a bunch of the other stuff turned out, was probably a good thing. Yeah, the motion picture, which had various issues of its own. I need to go through the motion picture again, actually. I finished watching the original series a while back, and I never made the jump into the movies. We got one coin. A 
of all of that, we got one coin. interesting how much this feels like an adventure game. Check this room again, this is the only one we could go in. still here yeah I feel kind of sick I'll be okay soon you should get out of this town when you can yeah I know but all right Nothing. <coughs> I did want to rewatch. Rewatch? No, I never actually did watch. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. It would not be a bad idea, Sina. I did want to watch the Star Trek animated series. I'd never seen it before, and it was on Netflix. But by the time I got around to eventually finishing the original series, they'd taken the animated series off Netflix, which is disappointing. So I made the jump to Next Generation and didn't end up watching the movies. And I need to actually go back and rewatch the movies. An empty pram in a, an empty pool. You've watched someone stream a game you're not familiar with, and then wonder how they're able to keep everything in the everything together in their head when you can't do it when watching them, even though you're trying to. You play that game yourself and it's like, oh yeah, no, this is actually totally simple to keep in my head now I'm the one playing. What was the point of this side? All we got was the canned juice.
feel like we've explored everywhere pretty thoroughly. We can get into Harris Street from this side. Take a look. I didn't unmute when I pressed the unmute button. Uh, I've done FF7F and RE4 enough that I also like completely memorized them. Uh, I have almost every treasure in RE4 memorized now. I mute it to cough or clear my throat. And sometimes I, like, I press the button. And it just doesn't actually register me clicking the button to one mute. Uh, but yeah, I've got almost every treasure location memorized now. Um... FF8 I'm less familiar with. I haven't actually played Bioshock all the way through. To be fair, I played Bioshock much at all, really. Gameplay didn't really grab me, and the twist had been spoiled for me long before I actually got to play it. It happened with a bunch of games from that point, like, a lot, bunch of people just love to talk about the twists of it. Well, it took me a while to find all the treasure. I think I eventually found all the treasures the first time just by getting the treasure maps. But I memorized most of it really well, and now I just explore. Like, more recently I explored RE4 a lot more to really just burn those locations in my head better. And the two main ones that happened for me, Ninja, were Bioshock and Portal. By the time I was able to play Portal, there was no point. Because all the jokes had been spoiled. And the twist of Paul had been spoiled. And I wasn't overly into the puzzles. They were decent enough, but they didn't carry a full game for me. Yeah... I enjoy Portal 2 more, though it helped that Portal 2's story wasn't spoiled for me. Much. I did play Infinite all the way through. I ended up picking up Infinite. I enjoyed Infinite well enough, though I probably wouldn't go through it again. 
but Burial at Sea irritated me with how it reduces everything Infinite does into an explanation for how the original Bioshock starts, which I didn't like. Because it takes away everything that Bioshock Infinite is. And bear in mind, Bioshock Infinite isn't all that amazing to begin with. It takes all of that away to just make it exist entirely for the sake of the original Bioshock. Yeah, maybe the uh, the System Shock remake will eventually come out and you'll be able to do that, Sina. I mean, Shenmue 3 came out. Just to say what will and won't come out these days. Seeing reactions to Shenmue 3 was interesting. Because Shenmue 3 was exactly what you should have expected it to be. It was Shenmue. And it turned out some people weren't into Shenmue in 2019, 2018, 2019. Hmm. Every now and then I debate going through System Shock 2, but it's like, you know, there's very little to discourage you like System Shock 2. When you get so far into the game only to find out, oh, You spec your character wrong, and now you can't finish the game. Oh, sign is lurking. Half-Life 3 might never happen, but, like, look at the stuff that did actually happen that probably wouldn't have happened. Duke Nukem Forever eventually came out. It was garbage, but it came out. Let me see. I've been adding to the list. There we go. Let me put that on. Uh, I've been adding to the list of Sunday Showcase games. There we go. Uh... Tachyon is spelled with an H, not a K. I know this is a time bot. Yeah, uh, put Duke Nukem Forever on the list. Because like, I can do a stream, I can do, in the space of one stream of Duke Nukem Forever, I can show you why you will never play it. You know, if you really want a good reason for why you'd never... Uh, Randy Pitchford. If you really want like a really good explanation for why you'll never play it, uh, watch Civi 11's video on Duke Nukem Forever. That video is a little over an hour long, and... Whew, it goes through the entire game, like the development, the eventual acquisition by Gearbox, the actual game, and then goes through the DLC, the Doctor Who cloned me. Yeah, he did watch it. Yeah, the DLC was weirdly better. The DLC that I'm never gonna buy. Because, you know what? No. I am not getting anywhere with this. This is actually becoming kind of frustrating. It's like, you know what game is great that I could purchase instead? Doom 2016. Oh wait, I did purchase it instead. 
and I played the fuck out of it last week and God. Ah that was a, that was a game. That was a shooter. It's like I said before how I I really kind of went off first person shooters during the whole era of uh, modern military shooters. And it's like, Doom 2016, having finally sat down and gone all the way through it, God, if there was any game that was going to reignite my love for first-person shooters, it'd be that. That was so good. And it's left me really wanting to pick up Doom Eternal. Now that I've said this, I'm heavily tempted to create a bullshit stipulation for this stream to say, okay, we haven't managed to hit this thing that I've said, so now we're going to cancel Silent Hill 2 and do Doom 2016 instead. It's like, yeah, no, I finished it on Sunday, I think it was, but you know what, I'd go through it again. Ah, oh, I'm tempted to go through it on Ultraviolence. That game was so fucking good. I love how it brought back all the classic Doom monsters. I did not expect them to actually make... I didn't expect them to actually carry over the, um... Like, some of the dumber old monsters. I thought if the pinkies were going to be in there, they'd be redesigned like they were in Doom 3. No. Pinkies are back, and they're recognisably pinkies. Everything's recognisable. The only thing that has a new design is the Hell Knights, which has the design it took from Doom 3. Oh, yeah. And, like, the Hell Knights having the design from Doom 3 makes sense, because the original design for the Hell Knights was literally just a recolor of the Barons of Hell. Like, you play Doom 2, and that's... That's what the Hell Knights look like. They are literally just a recolor of the Barons of Hell. And that final boss, like, I expected the Cyber Demon to be the final boss, like, in Doom 3. Because, like, the final boss they go for, which I'm not going to spoil what the final boss is, but, like, my thought after the Cyber Demon, like, after I took down the Cyber Demon, and that wasn't the final boss, my thought was, oh, it's got to be this one thing, and it wasn't. It was a very different thing that I was surprised they actually went with, and that was cool. This really is like an adventure game in this regard. <laughs> See, I took that final boss down on the first try, which was interesting because I had trouble with the Hell Guards. Uh, I had, I died the first, I think, at least, I died at least once to the Hell Guard, and then once to the Hell Guards, and I died once, mm, yeah, just once to the Cyber Demon, because the second time I had the Cyber Demon's pattern down and barely got touched, which was weird that the Cyber Demon was so pattern oriented. Did I see this room before? I must know if this is the issue with not having a map for this area. Angela? Oh, it's you. 
Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? Angela is interesting in that the first time you meet her is not indicative at all of any other interaction you'll ever have with her. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. And, you know, as I often do, really have to no, give credit to an actual mirror what in a did game. You say? This is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find... The person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? For me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Well, the, the thing with James is. The thing with James is his actions and demeanor very much depicts a man without any real sense of purpose in life anymore. That was interesting. Oh, I got another coin. Yeah, very much the point of everybody in this town. They all have something wrong with them. Although in what way uh, is always the question. But everybody's just kind of off. But that scene is where the picture we have up for the chat actually comes from. Like, we'll get a better idea with Eddie the next time we see him, but he is also off. Okay, so that's two coins.
That's an idea Silent Hill Downpour tried to run with in its attempts to copy Silent Hill 2. Everybody in Silent Hill has something wrong with them, but it doesn't do it anywhere near as well. Yeah, so I have two of the five coins. So, a little bit of progress. Question now really is, like, where do we go now? It really is very again adventure game-like, and I've said that before, but it really is. You see, that is not so much a case with Silent Hill 3, 4, or even Origins or Shattered Memories. That's very much a problem that Homecoming and Downpour had. Especially with their twist endings. Welcome back, Sina. You missed the reuniting with Angela. Yeah, the, uh... He's mostly just homecoming and downpour, really trying to recreate, too. So. Well, that's the thing. Like, Team Silent only made up to four. Origins and Shattered Memories were done by Western developers, I think. I forget who made... Uh, Origins, and I honestly can't remember who made Shard Memories. IMAX made Origins, maybe? And Origins has its problems, but none of those problems are it trying to do Silent Hill 2 again. Climax. Uh, Vatra, it, oh, that's it. Vatra did downpour, double helix did homecoming. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. I know I know Climax did a couple of things with Konami. They did the Rocket Knight reboot. Which was okay. Shared memories? Jack Memories is an interesting game. It's not particularly scary, but it's also not boring, which is good. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that reminds me, we added a new point reward to the, um, the rewards. Because, like, we had the thing of 50,000 points gets you a playthrough of Mystic Quest. And I thought, like, we could probably add something else to that. What could we do? Uh, so I added the original Shin Megami Tensei for Super Famicom on there. Yeah, or Shard Memories isn't particularly scary. It's interesting, and it's not really boring. Uh, especially the first time you play, really interesting to play through. But it's not a scary game. And I think in removing the combat, that and removing the combat and relegating the monsters to specific sequences, it may have been intentional that it wasn't supposed to be a horror game.
See, when I say this feels like an adventure game, what I really mean is the point where you're just roaming around the environments looking for something that you've overlooked because you can't, you don't have the solution to the puzzle that you're currently at. Which, if you've played a lot of adventure games, especially without a walkthrough, generally tends to happen. You see, Resident Evil at least always gives you a map. If you haven't found the map, then it's a map based on your movements. Like, a map would solve a lot of this issue for me at the minute. Like, just going through rooms again and again, because without the map, I can't be entirely sure of my location. Well, modern Resident Evil is very blatant about that. Like how RE2 make and RE3 make will show you on the map items that you've gone past that you probably didn't notice. As long as you move close enough to them, they'll appear on the map. Not necessarily a bad thing. But certainly simpler than it used to be. You know, generally the files were an indication. Especially in the first game when you didn't really have uh, proper knowledge of what to do. Of what the game would be like. Where did I see Eddie? Yeah, I think we come back with this. I should have a walkthrough ready. Yeah, it's entirely understandable. It does become one of the problems with this. And it's like I say, how many people do you think just stopped Silent Hill because of the... Silent Hill 2 because of this? Especially since this is still so early in the game. Sider, would you be willing to look up a walkthrough for me, please? Just so we're not running through this entire place for the next, like, the rest of the stream, and I lose my motivation to do this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Eddie was in this room. Uh, the location of the three coins that I don't have. I have Prisoner and Snake. You see, that's kind of me with RE7, Ninja. It's a decent game. I'm not great with the aiming in it. I feel like the aiming is really weird with it. Yeah, he's still here. Are you still here? Yeah. I feel... 
I get I got the knife from Angela. Okay, so I've been able to get that coin for a while now. Alright, thanks, Sina. You know, I was thinking for a minute, Seek, that that was a solution, and now I'm re then I remembered that you didn't. You said you didn't actually play Silent Hill all the way through. Yeah, RE7 feels pretty long to do in three hours, but it's a similar case. You just hate it. Uh, it's a similar case with something like RE2 Make. My first playthrough of Claire A in RE2 Make was like seven and a half hours or so. Somehow, the last time I streamed Claire A, I got it to under three and a half in, in S+. A little more practice, I could probably have it down to under three. Yeah, I had no idea I was expected to use the can juice here. This is meh. All right, back outside. That's the third coin. You see, I wouldn't have figured that out. I would have thought I'd have to pull that. Pull whatever was stuck in there up, not knock it down. This really is adventure game. Police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locane, and his sister Miriam committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. Carotid? It should be carotid, shouldn't it? Let me look this up. The fuck's a carotid artery? Is that a real thing or is it a spelling mistake? No, carotid artery is a real thing. Hmm. Yeah. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate from of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown, Pleasant River, said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Carroted. Carroted. It's good work, everybody in chat. This is, this is good work. Okay, so we now have three of the five coins. You know where the next coin is, Steiner? And of course, Silent Hill veterans will recognize the name Walter Sullivan. Thank you. You know, I never played PC. By the time I got a PS4, they'd taken it off the store. And I've never actually seen a playthrough of PC. It never really interested me that much. Like, especially after they took it down and Silent Hills was cancelled. It never interested me after that. 
There are only three coins. Interesting. Alright, thanks, Sina. That makes it a logic puzzle that I'll have to work out. I can do a logic puzzle. Oh, man, snake and prisoner. Yeah, I've got them all then. Thanks, Sina. You got PC and your PS4. Apparently, it's backwards compatible on PS5. It's one of the games that will work. Yeah, potential is all well and good, but at the end of the day, it's never coming out, and people need to get over that. Talked about how Silent Hills would have been so good. I feel it's kind of pointless. The other way. Since Silent Hills is never coming out and we never saw anything of it. And if I remember rightly, wasn't like big part of the point that PT was going to be considerably different from Silent Hills? Alright. Three bright coins. Fucking hell, I should have made a note of that. Three bright coins in five holes B. At one end since the seducer of she. That'll be the snake. The wind from behind, the woman doth play, the formless one, no lies furthest from the day. The old one beside the serpent sits not, it's the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Alright, I think I've got this. I don't know which coin I'm looking at. Prisoner. Okay. And the snake would be the seducer of she, which would be Eve. There we go. Let's get out of here. Hey, Clem. How you doing, buddy? Did I go the wrong way? Yes, the stairs are here. You see, if we if we can just find the puzzle pieces, I can put the puzzle together. I'm not an idiot. I never would have got that with the, um... Using the canned juice on the garbage. How bad is this going to be? That's good, Clem. That is good. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. We're finally making progress in this because I just said fuck it and had Sina lock up a guide to find that one coin I was missing. And the coin was in a place I would never have thought to look. Or rather, it was a solution I never would have thought of. Well, you know, if you want to tax your brain, Silent Hill's a good place for it. Handgun bullets. Nothing of use. Save point, and was that a note on the bed? Apartment stairway key. That's not a note, it's just a really small pillow, I guess. Uh, 
Maybe you will beat someone's ass, ninja. Maybe you will. But yeah, I think having a walkthrough on standby is probably going to be a good idea. The save points in this game are really weirdly placed. I appreciate it, Sona. I do appreciate that. Yeah, generally the combat in Silent Hill, a big part of the point is you're playing as an everyman character with no actual uh, combat training, combat or firearms training. Yeah, that's kind of the issue with Silent Hill when it begins. Right, let's get the map up. Like, here's the map of the town. And you start up on the observation deck, walk all the way down round to Sanders Street there. Then you get to the corner of Sanders and Lindsay, and there's blood. And you follow it north to... Vax... Vax... Vax's Road? Which leads to a dead end where you get the weapon and kill a monster. And then after that, it's like, roam around this small square trying to find the solution. Which, since I knew I needed to go to Saw Street, was actually pretty helpful. And then from there, it was pretty simple to get into the apartment. That was probably like... 40 minutes or so of the stream. In total. And for the rest of it, we've just been in this apartment building. To be fair, Ninja, that's not the helpful map. Oh boy. Yeah, I was saying that earlier, like, the apartments really do feel like how many people do you think stop playing this game in the apartment because of just how long it takes, how problematic it is to deal with? And the fact that it hits really early. Hey, Chica! How you doing, Chica? Back me again. You know, it feels like sometimes James takes such a long time to actually do his wind up. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're doing Silent Hill 2. It's been a long time since I've played this. The apartments have been kind of messy. We're fighting Pyramid Head now. Uh, very poorly fighting Pyramid Head. Makes you appreciate Resident Evil's combat. going? Nope. There we go. You know, that actually brings up a good point, Sina. Chica, did you just raid us? And I didn't get a notification. 
Is that what's happened and why my viewer accounts jumped a little bit? You did. You raided me with a party of four and... Twitch didn't actually properly inform me. Thank you for the raid, Chica. Uh, Bain, can we get a shout out for Chica in the chat, please? Chica's a cool streamer. Regularly does RE2 make speedruns. Really good at it. Scuffed raid. It, it seems like Twitch has the whole thing now of if you raid with under five people, they're not going to tell the person who raided you. Which means you need to keep an eye on the actual stream manager side of it, which says you did raid me with four, which, like, would have been nice if we had the notification. But let me throw up the raid notification properly. I will have to find the raid notification because they took it off my widgets. Bear with me a minute. There you go, the raid. Alright, the audio is still playing. Let's stop that now. This bad. Okay, let me do the shout out myself. Maybe Bane's busy. And go shout out for Chica. Chica's a really cool streamer. Regularly does RE2 make runs. Uh, she's really good at them. She's also pretty funny. She plays potatoes. Remnant from Ashes. I have seen that a couple of times on my list and... I think it was I think I had it on Game Pass at one point and then never played it and then my Game Pass ran out. Yeah, sometimes when I test the raid notification out, it just cycles through the notification multiple times, so I have to hit something else to stop it. Potatoes. Anyway, let's take out Pyramid Head. It would probably be safer to do it with a gun. Oh, Pyramid Head is running away. I can't go down there. I'm going to re-equip the pipe. The uh, wood with a nail in it. Piece of wood with a nail in it. Soon we'll build bigger pieces of wood. With bigger nails. Well, we survived our first encounter with... Pyramid Head. And all it really ended up with was us getting choked a little bit. Which is probably fine. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Unless you were talking about Siner's joke. Because I was just making a Simpsons reference. Okay, so we're out of the apartments, finally. Yeah, it was Siner's joke, it wasn't mine. It wasn't my reference. Okay, which way am I going? Uh, Forward? Uh, this way is blocked. Which direction is this? I need to get my bearings. Okay. So, head out to the road and take a right. First aid kit? Yeah. God damn, this camera has been such a problem. Like the weirdest thing is the camera's more of a problem on the streets than it is in the closed in part the closed apartment hallways. Uh, that's a gate, let me interact with it.
Okay, where am I actually? Right, I'm on the other side of the fence. Which means just go straight ahead and I'll hit the park. Yeah, we're moving on. We gotta go find our dead wife. Ain't got time to beat Gates. Oh, hey, it's that kid. Oh, boy. You. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Fun fact, Guy Seehe, the voice actor for James, didn't originally have any interest in the game or acting at all. He actually took his daughter to audition for the role of Laura and someone decided to get him to audition for James. And they liked him for James, so he became James Sunderland. I don't think his daughter plays Laura. I got handgun bullets. I feel like we should have been more concerned about a child alone in this place. I mean, they probably still let his daughter audition. Oh, sign is lurking again. Okay, so... The entrance on the left is the proper entrance. The entrance on the right goes underneath the main road. That's got to be the main road there. But why is there a proper entrance for the park that just leads from an alleyway? Like, here, this alleyway here leads to an entrance to the park. Why? That's weird construction. Yeah, he's going to use that load command all the time. I have to go around to his house and beat him with that cloaking device. What do we got here? Slippery when wet or frosty. What are you looking at, James? Handgun bullets. More handgun bullets. You know, if it wasn't for the head tracker in this game, I'd never find any of this. It's one of those things like the head tracking in RE2, like OG RE2, which is usually pretty useful, but also often. Often just has the characters looking at dead bodies that aren't going to do anything. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Ooh. 
What do you game character I see? Okay, let me check the map to work out where I am. This does just circle around the whole thing. It means this is where I just was. Yes. Okay. Alright, so let's head down to the... here, I guess? Oh, look. Binoculars. Oops, a telescope. That's bait. Oh, look. A person. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? Wife, no, actually. My late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're okay, you're being a little there. forward for me now, I Maria. You, I'm Maria. Sorry. I you know, I could see that. I, 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 I could see that, Sana. I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Yeah, but she also sent me a letter, so... Yeah, something's yeah, going on. Three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Well then what are you doing here? Is this your only special place? Looking for my wife at our special place and I find her doppelganger. Suspicious. You're definitely not my late wife. She was cold too, I guess. when she died. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, you mean sex. Way, it's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... Well, you were here on your own. No, I just... You were here on your own. I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. You were here on your own. I look like... Mary. Don't I? You loved her, right? Yeah, that's gonna make this really confusing for me if you continue to stick around. You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. God damn it, Teak. Okay. So our destination now is the Lakeview Hotel. Which... Is on the other side of Toluca Lake. It didn't unmute again, god damn it. Amber with the raid with 14 people. British! British is here. I'm sorry, it was muted and it didn't unmute when I pressed the unmute button. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Mecha stream. Thank you, Teak. Thank you, Teak. We're playing Silent Hill 2. Thank you for the follow. Video games is life. Welcome to the stream, friend.
really not getting any noise off the alerts again. I was hoping I'd fixed that. Let me try that again. And then bam. Hopefully that'll fix it. Welcome to the stream though. We are playing Silent Hill 2. I am Mecha Chrono. I am a variety streamer with a focus on RPGs. But for the month of October, which we're calling Halloween, we are currently playing Silent Hill 2 and a horror-themed RPG, Digital Devil Saga 2, which is a spin-off of the Shin Megami Tensei series. Yeah, I remember it happened to you, British. Uh, I meant to ask you how you ended up fixing that. Anyway, where were we? Uh, will we walk around, or will we get a boat? That's the second raid of the night. Silent Hill 2 must be good for us. At least after we got out of the apartment buildings. Those apartments were cursed. Yeah, I've got desktop audio. Let me just turn it back on just to make it simpler. My issue with that is they'll play double, but if it works, it works. You think boat, Teak? You think boat? got Maria following us now. I'd say by all this fog, it's probably kind of cold. And she doesn't look dressed for this weather. It's not good for anyone. Yeah, you know, a lot of people haven't seen Silent Hill. And it's not like it's easy to get hold of these days. 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying, Brush. I think I got it confused in my head because I am an idiot tonight. Rebel! It's Rebel checking out our Silent Hill stream after doing Silent Hill himself on Sunday. How you doing, Rebel? Where am I going? Am I really going to run all the way around the lake? Nah. No, we're playing it for some more of the week, but like we're playing it tonight, but Rebel was playing it on Sunday. So it was the main reason why I wasn't in Rebel's stream on Sunday. Because Rebel was playing, I was like, I was gonna, gonna play it this week. I didn't really want to have it in my head. Thank you for the host, Rebel. Super appreciated, dude. This camera. How did you deal with this camera, Rebel? Did you also have problems? Yeah, I do know one of the stipulations for a specific ending is to, I think, abuse Maria. Which we're not going to do. Victim of persecution... Jenny Carroll lived with pride and honour. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Is it sunset? Show me your cool stick. Look at the stick. Look at the stick, Maria. Maria, look at the stick. Maria, the stick, Maria. Look at it. Look how cool it is. Look, it goes bam. Great, look at the stick. Welcome back, Ninja. Was I here before? This is a different part. This entire place is confusing me now. I have become so confused. Is it that, or he didn't want to take away your command, Sina? Your command that you have called for yourself. There's a cat meowing outside. Okay, I think I've circled the entire place. Let's get out of here. Hm. 
Oh, you kooky chat. Alright, let's get out of here. I'd like to at least get to the hotel before we end today. Kick it, kick it! There we go. Pick up the handgun bullets. It's a health drink, not handgun bullets. How are you guys all doing tonight? Everybody who came in with the raid, Amber, uh, who hasn't spoken since she raided. Uh, how are you guys doing tonight? These roads are huge. I could circle around here and see what's down here. Well, that would be where we get a boat. Let's explore a little bit, though. Because we might miss something. Oh, there's just monsters. Breakfast on the go. Breakfast of champions. Eat your Winnebix. Eat your Winnebix. One day I'll get back to the history of stylish action and we'll get to Del May Cry 5. Okay, so there's a big hole in the road. Amber! What were you... If, you know, actually, let me just... I'm sorry, I completely forgot. 92. Amber is a cool streamer, regularly does RE2 make for whatever reason, regularly does Resident Evil. Uh, give her a follow, she's a cool dude. I don't I don't know where my mod is at the minute. I think he's supposed to be in chat. But I don't know what he's doing. Usually the stream is small enough that we only need one mod. I've been thinking like do I do I need to have another mod? Probably not, but then we'll, we'll, we'll see. Smack him. No, I'm pretty sure uh, shout out is a moderator command at the minute, Ninja. Yeah, Bane's probably just somewhere gathering all this evidence of me saying things about him when it seems like he's not here. He'll be back with a vengeance soon. So, have you guys ever played Silent Hill 2? Is this a parking lot? Jackson. <laughs> well, Bane has tried banning me. He threatened to ban me yesterday during the, uh, the rerun stream. I had to remind him that he can't ban me. entire time. Bane was behind all of the troubles we had to face. Oh, this, this, this voice hurts my throat. I shouldn't do this, it hurts. Uh... I stopped doing that. I feel like sunset has made it harder to see. Yeah, it's still here for the minute. For the minute. He says he was he says he picked his name after a guitar.
Okay, I think I actually hit Maria there and I didn't actually mean to. Kick it, James. Kick it. Yeah, bear with me a minute. God damn it, why do the attacks feel like they have such a long wind up sometimes? Get back here. Back here, you. I felt like more trouble than it should have been. Yeah, I've blocked and reported people for less. I think I blocked and reported Amber once for. Not having played a particular game. Blocked and reported. I didn't actually block and report. Okay, so that's walled off. Can't see there because the fog's too thick and the camera's too far. You know, I actually, um, I was looking through the Twitch Terms of Service a little while back, and it turns out that Follow for Follows are uh, apparently breaking the Terms of Service. I'm going to end up getting the bad ending because I keep running running into Maria, aren't I? Oh, god damn it. Hick it. I will say this health meter is really unclear. Well, to be fair, this stuff was all out before we met Maria. We just ran past it then. With how many monsters are on this street, I'm thinking there's probably something here. Why does it take so long to just kick something, James? Where did it go? I press the button. You get out from under that car. You get out from behind that wall. You know, I don't need to deal with this. James is a violent man. Where am I going? Hey, Lino. How are you doing, buddy? The bullets? That's a first aid kit. Get the first aid kit, James. Stop locking it and pick it up, James. James. Okay, this is just a wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. We're finally making progress in Silent Hill 2. We got out of the apartment building, which... You know, that's nice. The majority of the stream was in that apartment building. Like, oh god. I 
That's all right. We'll be here when you get back, Lena. This is open. Unless <laughs> Santa cloaks again. I don't even know where I am. How am I down here? I thought I ran down the street. Where am I? I ran the wrong. I ran in the wrong direction. God damn it! I somehow got turned around and didn't notice. VIP stars can be lifted at any moment. So who in the chat has played Silent Hill 2? So that'd be that'd be a fun thing to to find out. Should we just follow the main the main road? Sign has played it. Okay, let's head to the next road. Texon Gas. This camera is screwing me up. You know, it actually might be of interest to you, Signer. Uh Rebel? Let me do the shout out. Rebel is playing Silent Hill 2 at the minute. He's doing the Enhanced Edition patch on PC. And if you've never seen that, that might be of interest to you. Ninja hasn't, Bane has. Yeah, Bane was, Bane was just waiting to come back. Hope Maria will be okay. Is this car turned on? Ooh, I got a steel pipe. You're doing work outside of work hours again, Bane. Ooh, handgun bullets. I still haven't actually used the handgun. The question becomes, will this be like the Magnum was in RE3 make? Where I went out of my way to get the Magnum and then never used it? Yeah, this entire road's just blocked off. So we're not going to Heaven's Night. Unless we can go around the back. Not in your part. Yeah, it's like, if you remember the, uh, the RE3 make stream that I did... When I realised, like, oh, we've actually killed Nemesis, and I never fired the Magnum. And then as we were running for the elevator, I just stopped and took one shot into space with the Magnum. 
Yeah, Bane added a bunch more yesterday. Uh, I think we're on 37 now, if you want to like, use that number. Where am I? Heaven's Night. Yeah, Bane's always got more planned. He's always planning stuff. What was the point of this? Yeah. Okay, so we got behind Heaven's Night, but like we can't get in Heaven's Night. Oh, sign up. Oh, it's half eleven already. Hmm. Okay, I'm in between Pete's Bolorama and Heaven Knight. They get in Heaven Knight. I'm pretty sure this is where Maria starts in the Born from a Wish scenario. This is the wrong side. I get in Heaven Knight. This isn't Heaven's Night. Heaven, Heavens? Heaven's Night. Heavens. Yeah, my betrayals are always inevitable. You have to like look into the logic of the situation. Right. The, the entire thing is just the parking lot for Pete's Bolorama. That's a poorly designed parking lot. There's no way a car could get past any car that's parked. Let's just go get a boat. What are you looking at, James? James? Health drink. The answer is whichever one of you wants to give me the most money. Then I can pay for upgrades to my robot parts. Okay, the boats are further along. Well, that looked dumb. Your ad. Quiet cocktails. I think we found the boat in. Found a first aid kit. Boats to Lakeside Amusement Park and Lakeview Hotel. Oh, you gotta account for inflation, Bane. I mean, you're gonna make a six million dollar man joke. Like, you gotta remember when that actually came out. Six million dollars will not get you that much anymore. Locked. Historical society. You have to do more wandering, aren't you? Because it specifically said it was locked. And that means we're going to open it. How far does the road go? Eight 
Baby and kids. Is that supposed to be a you? Because that's a weird looking you. Superstore. Hmm. No, definitely more than that. What happens to this billboard? Lakeview Hotel. The bridge is out. Bridge is ruined. I can't get to the hotel by walking all the way around the lake. Out! The bridge is out! I still haven't gotten around to watching True Lies again. Pretty sure you can go back to streams from last year and I'm like, you know, I should re I got True Lies there, I should rewatch it and I still haven't gotten around to it. Oh, I have to find the key. Which could be anywhere. Like, this is actually quite a lot to search. And there hasn't been a save point since we got out of the apartments. Yeah, True Lies is really good. Here's my invitation. <laughs> the behind just explodes. I don't like how the camera keeps turning like that. Uh, no, but they took it off Amazon and I think then just put it straight onto Netflix. True Lies 92 or 94? Yeah, Demolition Man's good stuff. Can I go in Pete's Bowler Armor? I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play. Well, the good news is this means I'm. This is where I want to go. Okay. Therefore, weird to think that like five. Like you look at Eliza Dushku. You look at Eliza Dushku in that movie, and it's weird to think like five years later she was in Buffy. Oh, hey, it's Eddie. So what'd you do? Robbery, murder? No. Nah. Nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fatso. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No. I just ran because I was scared. Eddie, where did you get that pizza? I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Mm. Well, mm. I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? The good news is, though, whatever we're after has to be in here. Alright, thanks for the raid and the lurk, Amber. We do actually have a lurk command now, which is probably a good thing. Like if anybody ever wants to use the lurk command who isn't Sino. That cutscene played when I went in this room. What's in here? 
Free food, you say? Alright, thanks for joining us, Clem. You take care, buddy, and good luck at your trivia. Oh, there's a door here. Hey, Eddie. Eddie? Oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building? Yeah, I remember, but... Uh... Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. Bye-bye. Wait, come back. Eddie, let's go after her. Huh? Laura? But why? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. It's interesting that the main theme of the game is named after Laura. You sit there and eat pizza. She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. So yeah, like Angela, our second encounter with Eddie is far more indicative of his character than the first. Who is that girl, anyhow? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. It is a good song. Damn good song. But like I said, the main theme of the game being called Theme of Laura suggests there's more to Laura than initially seems. Is he ninja? It looks like the pizza's just on a completely different timing than the hand. Because it was going up before his hand, and now it's going up after his hand. Hmm. I don't think that's actually an intentional part of the game, though. Stood the point of like one slice of pizza. I, I guess it makes sense as like a quick snack, not necessarily. Wait, if she ran out the front door, Maria should have seen her. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah. She was too fast for me. Seriously? Aren't you gonna go after her? Okay, you came from around here. Probably not, honestly. American sized food is just way bigger. It's like they had a thing uh, a while back, a few a couple of years ago now probably. Where they started doing super size over here for McDonald's. And they called it super size. It wasn't the American super size, it was the American regular. 
but like it was that much bigger than our large that they just called it super size. That was a limited time thing, though. She went through there. Well, I can't fit through there with my buff man body. Yeah, there is. Right through there. That door was not there before, I'm sure of it. But it looks like we're going inside Heaven's Night. No good. It's locked. Did you just pick that lock in three separate steps? Oh, you know it wasn't there before, Sina? Like, I would have thought if you're going to pick a lock, you pull out all your tools and, tools and use them at once. Not, oh, tool, tool, tool. I would have thought it would take all three in conjunction. You didn't see it. Lock is broken, looks like we're heading upstairs. How oh, not to pick a lock. Yeah, you need at least the two parts, and the two parts working in conjunction. One to lift the tumblers and one to turn the lock. You can't just do it with a bunch of pieces separately. Out of dice. Well, I guess we know now that Heaven's Night is a strip club. Yeah, that video by Jill is just Barry saying that she's the master of unlocking. Then she goes over to a door that they told you was locked and she just opens it. Nothing in here. Maria, how the hell did you get in front of me like that? Okay, so there's the wall. How are you doing video games is life? I don't know, man. A lot of the themes in this game, even the ones that are supposed to be relaxing, just, like, with the idea of the horror, kind of put me a little on edge. Wait, you listen to it outside the context. Mm, probably. Thank you, Bane. Yeah, I, uh, I got the follow notification earlier. Thank you for following us. Um, I hope you I hope you're enjoying the stream. That's your damn thing. What's down here? Like, she ran off down here, then she could have gone anywhere. I'm glad you enjoy it, video games. Oh, there she is. There. 
Oh, is she going to church? I'm not allowed to fight on holy ground. 35 to go. Thirty-five more followers, and I'm contractually obligated to uh, play Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh my God, it's a hospital, and it has a map. We're gonna be here a while, aren't we? Okay, where am I? Okay, so this is the entrance. Basement is pretty small. How many floors? Three floors. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a, a while, isn't it? Jack Davis. He's attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown. Although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders, he must be watched closely due to his past pa past pattern of sudden and violent suicide attempts. Thank you, Bane. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a psychotic break and paranoid delusions. Normally calm, but has a tendency towards violence when excited. Joshua Lewis. History of, hos of hospitalisation, as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offences. He has a strong persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence. Extreme caution necessary. Oh god, the hunter's in the basement. Yeah, those spiders have been getting me lately. I'm I'm not happy about that. I got a health drink. Oh, there's a save point there. This is probably a good place to call it. Yeah, it probably is horrible. It's probably even worse when your wife also blames you for your child's death. Heavy rain is just messed up in that regard. Like, oh no, I feel like I caused my uh, eldest son's death. And was in a coma from for six months, and also my wife divorced me, and kept the house, and also blamed me for the death. Like, thanks, whatever the wife's name was in Heavy Rain. <coughs> but I think that's gonna do it. Um, let me get the list of what actually happened today. God damn it, work with me. God damn it. Uh, so what we had today, uh, Chica raided us. I want to thank Chica for that. It was super cool of her. Uh, thanks so much for raiding us, Chica. Amber raided us. Thank you so much for that. It was super cool of you to raid us. Um, those two raids combined has led to, I think, our highest viewer, highest consecutive viewer count ever, which is really cool. And Video Games is Life also followed us. Thank you so much for the follow, Video Games is Life. Uh, and with that, I think it's time to call it. I want to thank everybody who joined the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I always really appreciate the support. Um, big special thank you to everybody who joined the chat. Uh, we had a very packed chat today. Uh, so, Sina, Clem, Bane, Teak, Ninja, Lino, Amber, British popped in with, I assume, Amber's Raid, Video Games is Life, Chica, like a bunch of people. At least 10, which I think is why I needed for more VIP slots for 10 people to be talking in the chat simultaneously. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Silent Hill 2. 8pm Greatest Meantime, GMT. We'll be doing more Silent Hill 2 tomorrow. 
Uh, hopefully things will go a little better. Hopefully Brookhaven Hospital, which is not Alchemelia Hospital. Uh, hopefully Brookhaven Hospital will go better than the apartments did. Um, and with that though, uh, with this many people in, I want to do a raid and Whitey Bite Me is currently streaming RE4. So we're going to go raid Whitey Bite Me. He's a cool dude. Uh, show him some support if you can. Let me uh, get the name up. Whitey Bite Me. Specifically the name, right? Also, Teak has just gone live, and I want to give him a shout-out. Teak is not streaming a horror game, but if you want to go and join him for Final Fantasy IV, that would be super cool. Uh, but we're going to go and raid Whitey Bite Me. Whitey Bite Me is a cool streamer. Uh, puts a bunch of work into his streams. So does Teak. I want to suggest Teak doesn't. And he's currently streaming RE4, which is horror-related. So, uh, um, Chica was doing Resident Evil, Chica, no, Chica was doing Remnant from the Ashes, um, which I think is kind of horror-ish. Amber was doing RE2, let's continue the horror with, uh, Why Do You Bite Me, who is currently doing RE4. Um, but, yeah, with that, once again, I want to thank everybody who joined the stream, thank you so much for watching. Um, everybody who joined the chat, thank you so much for keeping me company. It's, chat is always the best part of the stream. Back tomorrow with more Silent Hill 2 as we travel through Brookhaven Hospital. And with that, uh, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go and raid Why Do Bite Me. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic time of day. Um, take care. I catch you next time, guys. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.